that's ice. Right here, it just snowed. Take the car out for a little snow day. Got this nice, beautiful track up here that we've been tearing up. As you can see, there is a good amount of snow here. I'd say it's probably about four inches of snow. Drives on it no problem. Actually wanted it to be a little more squirrely in the snow, so I put on track mode and did the drift preset. Just had the back wheels going and just sliding all around here. It's so fun. Thanks to these tires, don't have to worry about it blowing out pothole or something. Snowed in Humboldt. Snow day. <laughs> I'm gonna try this little patch first before I try that big patch. <laughs> Here you go. So we have the drift preset on. No stability assist and that's what we want here. Look at this. Sliding. This is what it would be like if there was no track assist or all-wheel drive. For those of you who don't know, the Tesla Model Y performance comes with track mode. And in this situation, I had track mode on and set to the drift preset. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna apply all the power to the back wheels while also turning off stability assist. And so what's gonna happen is when you're moving the car around and you're jerking it from left to right, all the weight's gonna come out from the bottom end and you're gonna sway like you see here. Look, he's spinning. Film him spins, film him spinning. Oh, he's trying to do that. <laughs> and because stability assist is off the car is not actively trying to apply torque to each wheel as necessary and it's also not applying the brakes to each wheel it's just letting the car kind of freely roam around so in this situation here i'm kind of messing around i'm letting the car kind of just go on its own because i have stability assist all the way off and front wheel drive essentially <laughs> it's in the drift preset right now. <laughs> it's so weird how quiet it is. That was crazy. No fun? So much fun. Okay, now I want to see how it does if I didn't want to slip and I just wanted to be safe in the snow and see how it handles. So all the traction settings are on. Some new tracks here. Take a sharp turn. Still going 10 miles an hour, no slipping at all. Still turning. Nothing. Solid. Over here a little bit. Fresh tracks right here. All day. Is the mountain just shy of 5,000 feet? 5,000 feet, and look at that drop off. So, if I slip, that's my fate over there. <laughs> Sorry, it's our fate. It's our fate. We got a truck over here. He's probably like, Look at that Tesla, right? Look at that Tesla. <laughs> the hell do you think he's doing up here? <laughs> the scary thing is, I don't know if this is iced over. Like, that's ice. That is ice. It's also 31, so yeah, it should be icy. Look how beautiful it is, though. Mm -hmm. I haven't been up this hill in since, like, I was a kid. So it's not quite frozen yet on the ground, but it is definitely snowy. So I think the both of us were actually really surprised with how well this car actually did in the snow. And it doesn't really attribute much to these tires because as you can see, they're not really fitted for the snow. They don't have much tread in them and it's an all season, yeah, but it's an all season performance. So it's not really tuned for this kind of snow conditions. And just looking at it, you can tell, right? This is not some beefy treaded block patterns that can really handle this kind of snowy climate and yet the car did so well and so we're asking kind of why is this well it is an all-wheel drive and it's dual motor and so the car is using its greatest advantage here which is electronic traction control and that's attributing to this all-wheel drive system 
And what that's doing is the all-wheel drive being electronic is actually detecting within milliseconds traction being lost at each wheel. And so what makes this more superior to a mechanical all-wheel drive system is that it is able to respond to traction control loss within milliseconds and digitally torque to the other tires as necessary um, or put on the brakes with certain tires and it does this very very well and it really shows on the road on the snow and how we were both so impressed that day and thankfully it did well because we were a little adventurous and uh, when we returned a couple weeks later we saw that there were some pretty steep drop-offs on either end and so happy that this car was able to keep traction that day see the sun came out right mm -hmm. melted and then it's so cold that it'll freeze again and then it melts and then it freezes again that's what i'm talking about yeah is right that's that's what this would be i don't think it's there yet I'm curious what you guys think. Do you think the conditions were ripe for ice there? Uh, were we crazy and shouldn't have lived? Or was this fine and we were overreacting and you guys have done it before? Let me know. Leave some comments in the comment section. So it's starting to snow over the road at this point and you can you feel the grit of the tires. Well, we're going to turn around because it's the storm is coming this way and this experienced one tells me that it just keeps on going up this steep for five miles and we probably shouldn't do that <laughs> so we're gonna turn around fresh deep snow look at that Ooh, Ooh. Yeah. all good all day oh here comes a plow behind me I'm impressed how well it's keeping its traction here on 22,000 mile worn all season performance tires. <laughs> Not snow, all season. So we decided going against going up that mountain because there was a steep part right off the white part of the road that just dropped off into oblivion and i thought about the car sliding off and us dying and so i didn't want to go any further and she's been on the road before and i'll take her judgment because i've never been there before yeah and it just got steeper and steeper for like five miles so we're just gonna kind of check out <laughs> right in the head. 